Williams and coached on Long Island back here in the garden Brian Kersey Carl Hess Sean Hall are the officials tonight and we are ready for game one of the Jimmy V Classic with Stephen Curry more of a so-called point guard rather than two guard this year the ball will be in his hands all night long about on the floor he makes good shots he's a tough player and he really gets to the rim getting to the drops it in and this is a guy that Bob Huggins has been waiting to knock down some shots he's long and athletic but he hasn't been shooting well and now the Mountaineers off the Rossiter back pick and then really just West Virginia jogging back and Curry to your and number two score both with shoulder injuries entering this game Curry and he may be take Bob McKillop gives them shooting licenses they have to earn their ability to shoot from different spots he gives them licenses to shoot Curry misses the long three. You can hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd every time he touches the ball. NBA distance three is there for Stephen Curry. The best truck stuck. Ebanks long on the three. Rebound Wildcats. Lovedale with another board. But West Virginia does a good job of keeping that ball alive. Barr steps back, hits the three. Turns it over this time. Stephen Curry, two fouls for Davidson. Seven points so far. <laughs> but a couple of bad ones from Steph Curry. There's his third steal of the game. Nice look ahead. Allison out ahead of the pack. They almost got a third there. He brought those arms down, which is supposed to be a no-no. There was some contact there. Good pass. Inside. Lovedale lays. He missed it. Missed it again. Finally, it goes in. Three taps on the same possession. Ebanks will get credit. But Rossiter was there as well as Smith. And... Off to Thurlman. And there it is again. Active hands on the part of Steph Curry with another steal. Driving on Smith. Creates the space and knocks. How many shots you're missing? That's a ton of rebounds. That shows that young man is pursuing the ball. Nice back pass. Curry for three. Grab the rebound. The Bob, the Bob Huggins wanted to foul there. Davidson looking for the lead. We're in the final minute. Curry. Got it. with the ball in his hands here. Look how off balance he gets John Flowers. I mean, he has got him on a string, and that's his shot credibility. You know, you know that he can go by you, but you also know that he can stop on that dime. Night, Jay, but the stars take over when it matters the most. The nice step back, the little back cut, setting his feet, knocking it down from deep, keeping the defender off balance. Look how quickly he pulls up. I mean, it's just beautiful to watch. He's just a, he's a, a shooter and scorer that knows how to play. And better than that, Dan, when you start talking about National Player of the Year, I think to be a National Player of the Year, you a 68 to 65 win. Stephen Curry got blazing hot at the end of the game. Jay knocked down some great shots, played both ends of the floor. The turnovers, the field goal percentage will not be pretty, but at the end of the game and the end result, it's beautiful for Bob McKillop, Stephen Curry, and Davidson. Well, when the game was on the line, Stephen Curry was at his best, and his best is awfully good. And he may wind up being the National Player of the Year. He's that kind of performer. So Davidson goes to 7-1 and one on the season. West Virginia falls to 6-2. and two. Villanova and Texas coming less than 30 minutes from now in a game two of the Jimmy V Classic here from Madison Square Garden in New York City. Stephen Curry scores 13 of the last 14 points for the Wildcats and winds up with 27 points, 10 assists, and four steals tonight as Davidson beats West Virginia 68-65. Well, don't you love a game where you don't play that well and you score?